all right now we will discuss how to use Wisner toolbox Wisner toolbox is our pre-sales tool for model selection storage calculation and camera mounting selection in order to get access to the Wisner toolbox you have to go to our website hanwa-security.com once you go to our website you can either click on this button Wisner toolbox or you can go to technical guides click on go to Wisner toolbox button Alright, so now I'm in the main page of Wisenet Toolbox and let's take an example. Let's say I need to select a 5 megapixel fisheye camera with analytics. So I will type the first three letters XNF which refers to X-Series, Network Camera and Fisheye. And here I have three models. I will choose the model with the least number of additional letters for the most cost effective option. Let's take another example 2 megapixel indoor dome with IR. It does not say analytics, so I will look for QND 6 for 2 megapixel and it says very focal length. So the cost effective verifocal is 07 and I will go ahead with 6072R which is relatively new. I will use this particular model. Next is I need a PTC camera 2 megapixel 40x zoom. In order to do that the first three letters for PTC XNP and then I look to the right I've got 6 is for 2 mega, then 32x, 25x, 32x, and then I need 40. So the closest I can find is 55. So I will go ahead and choose 55x. The last one, 5 megapixel, very focal lens, bullet camera, which means outdoor, with IR range of 50 meters. X series is the model that gives you 50 meters IR. So the first three letters is X and O dash 8 for 5 megapixel. And because I need very focal lens, I will choose X and O 8080R. That's it. Now, once you have done the model selection, you can click on bandwidth for storage calculation. In the storage calculation, you can enter the number of days that you want to record and then you edit the quantity let's say I need 10 quantity of each camera further to that I can edit additional settings for example if I need to record at 15 frames I can change it in this particular location and before that, I'm going to change the codec to H265, which is the highest, newest codec, which will give me the least storage. Go with 15, change all to H265, 15, 6, 15. All right, so now I have got my storage is 40 terabyte for 40 cameras for 31 days. Now you can see here all the cameras are recording continuously because they have the green bar and they are recording at full resolution, which can be edited by using the scroll down menu. If you need to record the fish at a lower resolution, you can change that. Uh, other settings we will discover in a separate session. Um, that's all for today. Thank you so much.